Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial using the Christmas color I will show you uh, step by step really easy how to make this rustic style teardrop crystal earrings. They're easy to make and I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make them by yourself. If you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials Links where you could buy supplies from, link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the material. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are 11 of seed beads in golden color and 8 of beads in this beautiful red and golden color. I'm also using here a crystal, faceted crystal that is 12 by 8 millimeters. And um, here I use lever backs ear wires, but you could use any type of ear wires you have. And this is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. You could use other beading thread of your choice. I use size 10 beading needle, scissors, and the pliers are not obligatory. I use them only to go through the difficult beads. Okay, so now I'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm back and what I'm going to take is one of my crystals and I will go through the center of my crystal, leaving here a small tail. Okay, and now I'm going to take 10 of these beautiful cordon beads. Okay guys. And now I have my 10 on my needle and I will hold this tail thread with my thumb and I will go back through this crystal like this and you see I'm holding my tail thread okay then I'm going to flip my work in this direction okay and I'm going to repeat this I need 10 more seed beads Okay, I have my 10 on my needle and I will slide them down just like this and I will go back in circle through this crystal, okay, holding my tail thread here, okay. Now guys, I will go still holding my tail thread and I will go through all of those 10 beads here in this direction. Okay, through all of the 10 beads. And now I'm going to pull tight. I will stick my needle in my mat. And here what I want to do is to make a knot with my tail thread and my main thread. And I'm making my knot by making a loop and going twice through this loop I've made. And I'm pulling. And I will make one more knot. Okay, pull again. Okay guys, now this is what I have. And what I want to do here is take two of these beautiful golden beads and go through these goldens in this direction. Okay, now I have this. And in my next step, I'm going through all of those beads in this direction. Okay, and now what I need to add here are four more golden beads. Okay. I'm taking them 
and I'm going here through the first two golden beads okay and now what I want to take is one golden one red and one golden okay this is what I have on my needle and I'm going back in circle through these two golden beads just like this okay now this is what I have then guys I'm going through the following two golden beads in this direction and now I'm taking not golden red golden but also about only golden and red okay and then what I do is that I go through this golden and then back through these two golden beads in circle and I pull okay now I have this now I will repeat the same thing going through the following two golden beads like this taking a golden and a red and I'm going back through these two goldens just like this okay then go in the next two goldens I will show you one more time and let you do this until the end of this row okay a golden and a red and I'm going back through this golden and through these two goldens after that okay okay guys and I'm going to continue this and when I'm up to here I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and as I continue this process here I am at my last step I'm going through these two beads like I did before and I'm taking one seed bead and one red atoll and I'm going back here through these two beads and now guys I have 11 red beads attached here okay and what I want to do is go here through these two golden beads like this take one golden atoll if you don't have goldens you could add a red here but I prefer to add golden okay now this is what I have now I will go through this golden and through this red one And here I will start adding golden beads. I'm taking two goldens, going through this red one here, two more goldens, and go in the red one, okay, two goldens again. Go here in the red one. Okay guys, and I will continue this process and when I'm up to here, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and I'm here where I'm adding my last two golden bees from this row. And what I'm going to do is go here through this golden, like this. And I will take two golden beads. go through this atoll here and take three more red atolls okay and i'm going back here making a right angle width which means a cross of four beads and i take two goldens go here in this golden that is 
before the red one okay and pull then i'm going through the red and through the following two golden beads just like this and what i want to take here are three golden beads okay this is what i have going back and through the red and if you can in one movement through the following two goldens okay now this is what i have then i'm taking three more golden beads going back here through these two goldens and in the following two take three go here back in circle just like i did before and now guys i'm going to continue this process and when i'm up to here i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and i'm here where i need to add the last three beads from this row okay i'm going like this and now as i'm exiting from this red ato i'm going to take three goldens and i will go here through this golden bead okay and here what i want to take are six golden beads okay i have my six here going to slide those down And now what I'm going to do is keep this first bead here and go through these two that are coming up on my way. Okay, and I'm going through them like that. Okay. And then what I need to take are three goldens like that. And I'm going here through this red one, like this. Now guys, I have this. And here I will do an additional step to attach my ear wire. Okay, I will go back here through these beads. And exit one more time in this direction. I'm exiting here at the top of my work and now what I need to take is one seed bead then I'm going to take my ear wire slide those down then one more seed bead and I'm going back through all those beads here like this now my ear wire is attached here at the top of my work and I might want to go one additional time to reinforce it okay And here, guys, is where I need to use my pliers. 
if you do this additional step of reinforcing you will most probably need your pliers Okay, now I'm exiting through this red bead here. And I want to repeat what I did from this side. I'm going to take three golden beads like this. And I'm going through this red one here. Okay, going through this red one. And now I will go one more time around the edges, reinforcing my work, okay? And making my work stay nice and, tight and tight and in one direction, okay? I'm going through these golden beads around the edges, gently connecting them. Don't pull too tight, just gently connect them, making an additional thread pad to make them stay in a nice shape okay now guys i'm i will go all the way through those beads up to here and i'll be back to tell you how to make your knot okay guys and i went around through all of my beads here and now i'm exiting out of those beads going here through this red one and now what I want to do is make a knot and cut my thread okay and in order to do this I'm going here between those two beads making a loop then what I do is that I go once and then go second time through this loop I've made I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from then I go through the following seed bead and you could repeat this knot several more times but when you're ready go through the following seed bead and cut your thread and now guys my crystal teardrop crystal rustic style earring is ready okay guys and now my rustic style crystal teardrop earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas and you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action and if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials please share them on my facebook page that i posted below this video i will be so happy to see your creations down there in description you will find full list of materials links where you could buy supplies from link to my store and link for paypal donations to develop this channel thank you so much for watching bye bye from me